Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use a small amount of JavaScript to display the current year. So I was looking at the source code for a, uh, for a local website here, and I don't know what you do for fun, but yeah, so I'm just looking at the source code, and yeah, nothing too exciting. However, at the very bottom, you'll see this, they've got a baby little JavaScript, and uh, var date equals new date, year equals date dot get full year, document get element by id current year enter html equals year what does this mean what is this doing well this is probably you know one of the most common scripts you would see on any business website and the reason i like it is because it's very easy you know just a few lines and you're going to get instant gratification and if you have a copyright notice on your website this is a great way to always ensure you have the current year displayed. And that's what they're doing here. So they have an element that has an ID called current year. And if we scroll up a little bit, certainly we will see it. Ah, here we go. So they've got this paragraph, and there's a span in there, and the span has ID current year. Notice there's no text or no year in between the opening and closing span tag. But if I look over at their web page at the very bottom, here it is right here, 1997 to 2021. They're displaying that four-digit year using a little bit of script. And don't worry, even though it says a copyright, this little script is not copyrighted. Um, anybody can use it. You can type it exactly the same way as any business. And like I said, if you were to look at a at 100 business websites, they're, you know, almost all of them will likely have this little script or something very darn close to it. So let's get to it. Now, I've already got a page set up, which is blank, um, blankish. And let's see, let me jump over to the markup here and let's hide the folders, zoom in. Let's make this font nice and big and let's go ahead and put some place for our year to show up. So I'll just make a, uh, let's see, we'll just do a little footer section here and then I'll have a paragraph class equals copyright and then within that paragraph I'll do a uh, let's see ampersand copy semicolon I'll write the words copyright again just so we can see that copyright and I'll go ahead and put in the years 2011 dash actually ampersand m dash semicolon and then I'll do the span ID equals per year there we go. We'll do our variable that way. And then we've got our closing span tag. And then I'll just go ahead and put in my closing paragraph tag. So pretty similar to what I saw on that other business website. So we're going to have a little paragraph in there. Copyright text. Um, 2011 M dash. And then we want the current year to display right in there. So let's take care of this. Now on the other website, they put their little script way at the bottom of the page, and they did that for a reason. They wanted the script to render to occur after the paragraph is rendered. So HTML and JavaScript, they're read line by line, top to bottom. So if the script occurred first and was saying, hey, there should be an element with ID current year, but that element doesn't exist yet, then that would create an error. There's a couple ways you can fix that. But what they did to fix it was they just made sure that the script within a set of script tags is right at the very bottom of the page, the last thing in the body. That ensures that the footer with the paragraph with the ID occurs first, and then the script can reference that element that exists. So let's go ahead and get to it. And uh, they did the var keyword perfectly fine. Could do the let keyword there, but let's do the var keyword. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in, um, let's do a variable date. It's going to be equal to a new date object. So this variable date is going to represent a date object. Now we're going to create another variable. Let's call that one year. And I'm going to take my date variable dot. And we'll do a method here, um, get full year. So basically, the date variable represents the date object. The year variable represents the four-digit year of that date object. So now we have this year variable that represents the current year. So let's see. I will do a document dot get element by ID. Now the ID in question that I want is right up here in my span, C-U-R-Y-R. C-U-R-Y-R, capital Y-R. Notice I'm using single quotes there. Could have used double quotes, but quotes are good. 
um, dot enter HTML, which is a property of this element, um, equals to year. So let's see what we have here. Again, the date variable represents the current date, the date object, and there's all kinds of data we can extract from that. But we're extracting the four-digit year. The year variable represents the four-digit year of that date object. Now I'm taking that year variable, I'm reading from right to left now, I'm taking that year variable and I'm putting it in the inner HTML. That's in between the opening and closing tags of a particular element. Well, which element? Well, it's the element that has the ID current year. So it's my little span up here. So basically I'm going to take that variable data, the year, and stick it right in between those opening and closing tags. Um, getting that element and of course it's within my current document and that should be pretty darn good right there. So I've got auto save on so let me just jump over here and there we go. So now we have our copyright notice displayed right up there 2011-2021 and since this is based off a date object this would be great once uh, January 22 rolls around um, this is going to update automatically and always have that current date on there. So there you go that's, as, that's how easy it is. So this short little script right there at the bottom of the web page so that way it loads up after the element that's going to reference it and uh, yeah and just display that current year so pretty much every business website that does this and if you ever see a business website that has a copyright notice with a year that's in the past you know they didn't take these couple little steps to uh, take care of that so yeah go ahead and add a copyright year to your web page project thanks for hanging out with me